All right, we are now joined by our Bible teacher for the week, Danielle Strickland. Danielle, we're talking about Mark chapter 1 all this week. Tell yeah, we this. are. Well, Mark chapter 1 is the introduction of sort of this good news or the proclamation of God's kingdom coming. Mm. So it kind of kicks off with John the Baptist, which is like a fiery camel hair, prophetic sort of desert uh, guy who uses a, a baptism of repentance, mm. which is like a really fancy religious word, uh, which scares everybody. But the meaning of repentance and metanoia, it actually means to change the way you see. So Mark's gospel is this like invitation to change the way we see the world. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delve into a little bit more about how do we see the world and how should we see the world? Yeah, I think, uh, again, some clues like in Mark's gospel is really pessimistic. Most of the Jewish people would have been like, it's not looking good here. There's not a lot of hope. We're an occupied people. We're like impoverished. We're stuck in sort of systems. And I mean, I don't know. Does it sound familiar? Yeah, just a little. Yeah, just so, so this pessimistic outlook, like we've tried this before, it doesn't work, like all of our systems aren't working. And um, you know, what's really amazing is when Jesus shows up on the scene, what he says is the time is now, mm. the kingdom is near, repent and believe the good news. That's Mark's sort of announcement of Jesus and who Jesus says it to is he says it first to the disciples of John the Baptist. Mm. And John the Baptist has, you know, he was like made such a big, uh, big like big deal right he was just like this kind of revival preacher in the desert and then all of a sudden he's imprisoned by Herod and uh, yet one more prophet is kind of done away with and the disciples are John are gone back to fishing and gone back to plan b and they're just like I guess it's over and then Jesus shows up and is like it has just begun yeah. you know and so it's like this you know end game Avengers like da 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 except that this is like different than what everybody thought mm. So change the way you see. I mean, you, you want to see through a kingdom lens. You want to see that what we think sometimes is the end is actually just the beginning, that right where we think it's hopeless and th there's no way to change the narrative, that Jesus comes in with a brand new narrative and a way of moving in the world that's different than we ever thought of. It's just kind of blowing your mind. And it's countercultural. Like I think about today and I think about some of my friends who don't yet know Jesus. Yeah. And the hardest part for them is like, how could mm -hmm. he change my life? Right. Right. And so I'm thinking back then, you know, you have John the Baptist coming and saying, there is a savior coming. Yes. And people are like, yeah, I don't know about that. My life has pretty right. much been what it is. Right. So how do we, I'm just thinking about friends that are watching. What, mm. what do you feel should be the biggest takeaway from this week? I think the biggest takeaway is to like uh, reserve some hope for the possibility of things changing. Yeah. Cause I think that it might even just begin with like a dislodging of cynicism and despair and sort of this, we get into these routines routines that, that, that kind of work for us, but only at one level. They don't work for us at a deep level. They don't work for us when it comes to meaning and depth and relationships and like real uh, intentional transformation in our own lives. We all want stuff to change. So if we can even just move towards hope, like just a little dislodging, which is this repentance idea, instead of just like, oh, you're all in and it's like a baptism thing. It's literally just like a, could there be, is it possible? Uh, might the time be now? You know, like just moving towards hope as a lifestyle. I think it could change a lot of things. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to challenge you. If you want to move towards hope and you don't have a Bible, but you want to track with Danielle this week, call our prayer lines. They would love to get a Bible into your hands. Also pray with you if you need some prayer today. 1-866-273-4444. Let's move towards hope this week. Stay with us. We'll be right back.